just a quick overnight stop in Chukar Park Campground. And we're moving on down the road. We're gonna spend the night at poor little low Chickahominy Reservoir. It was not this low last year. Lots of birds though. Be some good bird watching. There's all these little flowers here and it's buzzing with bees and it smells so sweet right here. What you doing? We're doing a little bit of laundry since we have water and it's dry and hot so things will dry quick before we get to the Cascades where nothing dries for days. It's a great idea. Do it for one day, right? One day, yeah. Well, I just hooked up the portable solar panel for the first time on this whole trip. Boost up our battery a little bit. We were indoors a lot yesterday, cowering from the sun. It was really sunny and kind of hot. So we spent a little time indoors doing stuff on electronic devices and the battery was still at 41% this morning. But I figured since we're here and it's really sunny, let's go ahead and charge it up a little more. So in case we camp in the shade tonight, wherever we end up, it'll be nice and topped off. We're on the little side road to Boyd Cave. We've got a little caving adventure going on. I don't know how big or extensive this cave is. We're about to find out. Ooh, this is fun. considerably longer than I was first expecting. This is pretty cool. This is like a mountain bike ramp to me. 
We are still trying to find the campsites. Squatters Lane. There's a side road right here with trash. What type of road did we get ourselves down? To turn left here, Mike. This is a great road. <laughs> Famous last words. Yeah, this is a little rough. Oh, this has been one of those days. We had a lot of trouble finding a spot to camp where there looked like there was a lot of places to camp. <laughs> the roads were extremely narrow and hard to navigate through some trees and dead branches. Uh, everywhere that looked like a possible place to camp was full of broken glass and trash and even a half a car at one point. And we've been driving around for a couple hours after our really enjoyable trip to Boyd Cave. And we thought it would be a lot simpler to find a place to camp, but it hasn't been. We are sort of in this horse trailer turnaround looking spot, but it's sort of shady and there's a little bit of room and there's actually no trash. So we're gonna, we're gonna nab it for the night. I don't think anyone's gonna need to use this. We're right next to a trailhead, um, but it's kind of late in the day and there's no one here. So I think it's time to stop. This row of roundabouts going through the outskirts of Bend and I just realized I kind of chose a roundabout way such a start of surprise that he dropped all his parcels. So we are at Riverbend County Park. The river is really low this time. Uh, Mike and Ben are going to be intertubing down the river here in a few minutes, so I'm waiting for them to come down. But it's absolutely gorgeous.
you forget sometimes how fun just playing in the river with some inner tubes is. <laughs> what a cool afternoon. Oh. We're still in the sun. <laughs> so it's important to note here that we got the last available site for this campsite for this night and tomorrow night. So we really can't complain that our campsite's kind of out on display <laughs> in the middle of everything and very sunny. Cozy home with air conditioning. That feels good in here now. So Ben and I had a little adventure where we didn't realize how far down the river we were tubing and we passed the steps that we were looking for and didn't even see them. They were up in the trees. <laughs> they weren't as big as I imagined. <laughs> so yeah, we got a little bit too far out there and came to where we could see the road and we knew that was way too far. So I tried to climb up this bank and I totally got caught in a blackberry bramble. It was so ridiculous. And then we saw another little trail a little further back towards this area and Ben and I went up the trail and we definitely knew we weren't in this camp, <laughs> but we thought, hey, any port in a storm. And then a lady came running up to us and told us that we were on private property and apparently we had stumbled onto the disabled kids camp. Oh, man. And <laughs> I mean, it was so silly. It was really silly. It was. It's funny in retrospect, but it was a little awkward at the time. I think that happens often. It must. It must happen. It must have happened before. But anyway, we told her we were stuck, and she was actually pretty nice, and just told us how to get off the property. So we took the long trail back and passed the sign that said "Do not enter private property." <laughs> passed it from the the wrong direction. Anyway, I think I'm done tubing for a little while. It's Yeah. Ooh, 
my god it is the best site the best best site we finally got it